Hello friends, we will be discussing another illustration which is related to now the lesser books of accounts. That means all the transactions now will be dealt with in the books of a lesser. So how to deal with this is something that we will be looking after. So let's figure it out. <music> Now, when we already understand that in the books of lessee, what are the transactions and how are the journal entries that are supposed to be passed, let us see from the perspective of lesser how the journal entries are supposed to be passed and what are the ledger account that needs to be created with the illustration that I'll be mentioning down right now. Let's figure it out. So the question has been mentioned here for your reference. Let's read it out. On 1st of April 2011, State Collieries Company Limited took on lease a mine from Omega Company. That means Omega Company is the lesser and State Collieries Company Limited is the lessee. So state companies took on lease a mine from Omega Company and that was for a contract period. Royalty was absolutely payable at the rate of 10 per ton. That means whatever tons of output come out on that 10 rupees per ton is the royalty that is supposed to be taken by the landlord that is Omega Company Limited. Now the question also states that the annual minimum rent is 1 lakh rupees that has been mentioned in the question. Now if there are any other short workings that were recoverable only in the first three years. After three years there is no short working recovery allowed here. Now the output of the first four years has been given down here. For 31st March 2012, it was 6,000 ton output. For 31st March 2013, it was 10,500 ton output. For 31st March 2014, it was 13,000 ton output. And for 31st March 2015, it was 20,000 ton output. Now, we have to pass the journal entries for all these four years in the books of the landlord. That means in the books of the lesser. Here, the lesser is Omega Company Limited. So let's find out how to go ahead and pass the journal entries in here. So before we could go ahead with the solution, rather before we could go ahead with the journal entries, let's just figure out what needs to be done when it comes to the computation or rather when it comes to the computation of all the royalties minimum rent and the short working. So let's do that calculation again, which we did in the previous example. So I've mentioned the highlighters here. The first column refers to the date. The second column refers to the output. Third column refers to the royalty. Fourth column refers to the minimum rent. Fourth column refers to the short working allowable. That means how much short working is allowed in that specific year. Fifth column refers to the short working adjusted. That means whatever short working has been done or allowed, how much has been adjusted out of it. Second last column refers to the short working irrecoverable. And the last column receives or rather states about the amount receivable from lessee. Now let's start with the working here. So we've mentioned the output on 31st of March 2012. The royalty as per 60,000 is, that means 6,000 is the output multiplied by 10 that gives you 60,000 as the royalty here. And the minimum rent is 1 lakh. So here, royalty is less, minimum rent is more. That means there is certain short working that is amount of 40,000. Now, anything that can be adjusted here? No. Any short working that is irrecoverable? No, because this is the first year. After third year, anything that goes on will be irrecoverable until unless if before three years it is adjusted completely. Amount receivable from lessee is 1 lakh rupees as the minimum rent because that is the maximum thing that I can claim. Now let's go on to 31st of March 2013. So the output is 10,500 tons. Multiplied by 10, you will get 1,5,000. So if 1,5,000 is something that you have, 1 lakh is going to the lessee or rather the lesser here when it comes to the minimum rent and 5,000 can be adjusted here. 
so is there any short work that is allowed here nothing because we have excess or rather here the account or we can say the royalty is more as compared to the minimum rent so there is no short work here in fact whatever additional we have apart from the minimum rent that is 5000 can be adjusted that means whatever is adjusted is mentioned here Now nothing goes irrecoverable because this is the second year. Hence, the minimum amount that is received or rather the amount that is receivable from lessee is 1 lakh that has been mentioned. Let's go to 31st of March 2014 now. Now, here the output is 13,000 ton. That means the royalty will be 1 lakh 30,000. Out of which minimum rent is 1 lakh. So is there any short working? No. Is there any excess amount of royalty? Yes, 30,000 that can be adjusted against the 40,000 balance that we already have out of which 5,000 has been gone. So 35,000 balance out of which again you have 30,000 additional which can be used here. Now as this is the last year, you know fourth year there is no recovery that is going to happen. So whatever balance is left that is irrecoverable and the minimum amount that is the rent or rather 1 lakh itself. Now let's go to 31st of March 2015. The output is 20,000 that means royalty will be 2 lakh. Out of which minimum rent is 1 lakh. But now there is no short coming allowed there is no short working recovery done. There is no short working adjustment done. No short recovery or no short working irrecovery happening here. So if you have to see, you have royalty as 2 lakh. You have minimum rent as 1 lakh. As a lesser, what will you claim? You will claim the highest amount that is 2 lakh. So the amount receivable from lessee is 2 lakh rupees. So with this, the calculation gets over and we figure out what is the amount that is supposed to be mentioned in the journal entries. Now, the next step is to go ahead and pass on the journal entries here. So now we are going to pass the journal entries for all the four years in the books of lesser. So the first year is 2012. We'll pass the first entry now. Now here, the entry will be lessee account debit to receivables or royalty receivables and short workings will be credited here. So let's figure out what the entry will be. So the first entry is state collieries company account limited debit to royalty receivables to short working. 1 lakh is the amount that is supposed to be debited or rather received out of that royalty what we are supposed to receive is only 60,000 because balance 40,000 is bad debt. So you can consider this as something which is short working. So that has been credited here. Let's go to the next entry now of that year itself. What is the actual amount that we have received here? So the entry will be bank account debit to state collieries company account debit or rather credit side here. The amount that will be mentioned is the minimum rent that we are supposed to take that is 1 lakh rupees. Now the next entry will be out of this 1 lakh what you have received, 60,000 refers to the royalty and that will be transferred to profit and loss account. Right now, royalty is supposed to be an income for us. Hence, profit and loss account will be credited. So, on the debit side, it will be royalty account. So for 2012, we've completed all the entries. Now let's go on to 2013. Now the entries that will be passing is for the year 2013. Let's start with the first entry. Now the first entry 2013 is something related to this. That means state working or rather we can talk about the state collieries company account debit, short working account debit to royalty receivables account. Now here, the total amount that we have to look after is the royalty that is supposed to be received. 
Now the 10,500 output, that means 1,5,000 is the royalty supposed to be received here. So the entry that we have passed here is state culinary company account debit, short working account debit to royalty receivable account. Now the royalty receivable account is credited with 1,5,000 out of which the minimum rent, that means the lessee that will pay is 1 lakh rupees. So the balancing figure that is 5,000 is the short working amount. Now, the next entry that will be passing is the actual amount received here. So the entry that we have passed here is bank account debit to state company or state collieries company account debit or rather credited here. Amount is 1 lakh. Now, the next entry will be the transfer of royalties to profit and loss account. So the entry we have passed here is royalty receivables account debit to profit and loss account. The amount that has to be mentioned here is 1,5,000. Now with this we have completed the entries of the year 2013. Let's start with 2014 now. Now for the year 2014 we will again start with the amounts due then amounts received then transfer of profit and loss account or other royalties to transfer profit and loss account is something that we'll be doing so let's start with that so we have mentioned the amount due here the next entry that will be passing here is the amount that is received ideally So the entry that we have passed here is bank account debit to state collieries company account credit. Amount that has been mentioned here is 1 lakh. Now this is the third year that we are discussing about. Hence in this year whatever irrecoverable amount was there that means of 5000 that we figured out that has to be transferred to profit and loss account as it is an expense for us. So the balance that was irrecoverable, that means short working allowable account debit to profit and loss account, 5000 amount has been moved there. Now the next entry that will be passing here is transfer of all the royalty to profit and loss account. So with this entry, we have completed the year 2014. Now it's turn to complete the year 2015, which is the last year. So now in the last year, we'll pass the entries. That means due amount, then received amount, and then transfer to PNL. Rest, nothing is there. So the entry that has been passed here, that means the first entry, the due entry is state collieries company account debit to royalty receivable complete amount of 2 lakh is the royalty that was supposed to receive because here there is no short working hence the complete amount of royalty as it is greater than minimum rent hence we are taking that whole amount of 2 lakh the next entry that will be passing is the amount that is received So the entry that we have passed here is bank account debit to state collieries company account credit. Hence, that is the amount that is received. Now, whatever royalty we have received here, we have to close it and move it to profit and loss account. So the entry that has been passed here is royalty receivables account debit to profit and loss. The whole amount is transferred. And with this entry, we have completed all the journal entries for the four years in the books of lesser. So this is how the journal entries are supposed to be passed in the books of lesser. I believe with this illustration, it is very much clear for you to how go ahead or rather how to go ahead and make such journal entries. Now, if you have to prepare the ledger also, you will be able to prepare it using these details itself. So 
Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and keep subscribing to Ikeda.